Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the vlog. Hope you're having a great day. This is the beginning of a uh, fun series of videos. We've partnered up with a major player in the RV industry, like, you know, definitely one of the core backbones of the uh, market, uh, Lippert Components. And what they're going to be doing is sending us. I don't even know what all yet. We're not sure yet. Yeah, a wide variety of uh, products to try out in our camper. First up is a new mattress for Denny. I'm not excited at all if you can't tell. <laughs> so let's uh, tell you a little bit about this. Uh, it's the Denver Mattress RV Collection. It's a uh, memory foam and nice things about it. Uh, what we mainly were interested in was that it's plant-based, environmentally friendly foam. Yeah, that's a big thing nowadays. And, you know, the stiffness level is a seven, but this is a pretty nifty box. Well, and the great thing is, is that it comes in a regular queen, because that's what we have. But if you have the RV short queen, it also comes in that. It also comes in a narrow king or a regular king. Yeah. So lots of choices depending on what your bed uh, situation is in your RV. So here's how the video is going to go. We're going to obviously open the box. And then this is also a great opportunity to have an open discussion about various aspects of sleeping in an RV, van, or tiny dwelling. It's alive. There we go. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Yeah. To at least capture this on camera. It is. It's like a bed mechanically. <laughs> Our camper, uh, the previous owner uh, put a uh, coil, inner coil spring, like a regular house mattress in there, uh, which was like super comfortable aside from some high traffic issues, but we'll uh, show you those once we're in the camper. There's nothing like living on the edge, guys. You're not supposed to cut those off. They're gonna come and arrest us I'm now. A rebel here, under penalty of law. Oh God. Yep, they'll be after us now. And we're putting it on YouTube, but I you know. did it. There's worse things that we put out there. <laughs> if you're new to our channel, this is the camper that the new mattress is going to go into. But first, we have to get rid of the old one. So earlier I mentioned that we have like a high traffic issue in this camper and as you can see, you know, you got to crawl through here. We have an east-west bed, not north-south, and it's got walls pretty much like three quarters all, uh, all the way around it. But we have to kneel on here all the time to get to our clothes, which are in these cabinets. And being an inner spring mattress, it's not designed to just have knees on it umpteen times every single day. So I think the memory foam is going to be far better application. So normally, you know, I'd suggest like opening up that uh, mattress inside your camper, but I knew that this inner spring mattress had come into this camper because it sure as heck wasn't shrink wrapped into a little box and we flipped it before, but it is now time to finagle this thing out of here. One thing at a time here. It's almost out the door. Okay, and there it is. That wasn't really that hard. Nope, not at all. So this is also a rare opportunity to uh, show you what's underneath our bed. This uh, is the back storage garage. And right here is where our 40 gallon water tank is. We uh, are very happy and just keep getting more and more impressed with how well thought out this is. Uh, we don't ever access this storage from here, but there is a uh, nice storage area down there that we use, but we normally access it from right here. We're almost there. Ah, oh, it's in. <sighs> Perfect. It's a little taller than the last one, but not bad, guys. Yeah. All right, 
right, guys, we are making our push out of uh, San Diego, working our way home to Alaska. Uh, it's probably going to take three, four weeks to complete the journey, so we don't just, like, drive nonstop for uh, eight or nine straight days. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to talk to you a little bit about, like, tips for sleeping in an RV. And a lot of people know this, but there are things called RV uh, length beds and standard beds and so the RV if you see like it has an RV queen that means it's short uh, there is probably about uh, four inches less give or take on the uh, length and our last motorhome uh, which was a class A Tiffin Allegro 1999 it had an RV queen and what we did is we uh, got a four inch thick piece of foam and cut it six inches wide so we wedged that in so we had a four by six block wedged that in at the head of our bed and that kind of helped give us an extra four inches which I'm you know six foot and oh, oh, traffic uh, and I'm six foot and that made a world of difference guys another challenge we had had an, a short RV queen was that traditional queen size sheets didn't fit properly and so you had a lot of excess material and they would slip off the edges it drove us crazy our fix was to actually buy a set of suspenders and adjust them to the right length for the bed and then we would suspender the corners of the sheets on it would pull them taut and keep them from slipping off the edges so you just got a much better night's sleep well here's one that drove us crazy on nelly our last motorhome there was a window right at the head of our bed and sure it may sound nice you got a window there but that window collected a lot of condensation uh, because humidity is an issue and it was not double pane. So keep that in mind when you are uh, looking at motorhomes. Hey, there's a window above the bed. I could potentially have problems with that. Now, we did have a hack or a solution of sorts for it. Uh, we created a vapor barrier. So we cut out a piece of styrofoam and we then sealed that window with this product called window treatment. Uh, duck brand, there's tons of brands, but essentially it's like a little thin double-sided tape all the way around the uh, perimeter of that window and then a thin film of like a shrink wrap. And what you do is you hit it with a hair dryer and it makes that vapor barrier so there's no more uh, condensation issues on that window, guys. It also made it a lot warmer in our bedroom. It did, yeah. It was awesome for that. Another tip to share with you is something that we don't really struggle with in the new rig, but we had a lot of trouble with it when we had our Class A RV. Um, people often get moisture underneath the mattress in their bed because it's not breathable like it is in a traditional bed setting. And so there's a material called hypervent and it's something that helps the air flow underneath your mattress, prevents mildew and moisture. And I think it's a great little tip, not usually an issue during the summer, but if you travel year round, definitely a problem that you will experience when it's cool or damp out. Well, after spending the better part of four years full timing on the road, we could probably go on for hours about, you know, just sleeping in RVs. But, you know, here's a fact. Uh, unless you're going for like a super high end brand new RV, most likely you're going to get a very basic mattress uh, when you buy an RV. And you know what? I really look at things a unique way. You know, you spend how many hours a day wearing your shoes? How many hours a day do you spend on that mattress sleeping? And you know what? You spend a lot, at least if you have a moderately healthy lifestyle and uh, you know, you're know you getting plenty of sleep. But you know what? It's worth having a quality mattress. And that's where upgrades like the Denver Mattress Company and uh, Lipper Components come in. All right, guys. We had a wonderful evening visiting with my mom. It's time to call it a night. 
this uh, Denver mattress is pretty freaking comfortable so far. <laughs> I'm, I'm digging it. I have to say that when I got into bed tonight, I kind of compensated for that little hole that has been down in the old mattress right here from swapping it. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, hey, thanks for riding along. I guess for a, a long-term review, you're going to have to subscribe to our channel. Uh, but we're calling it a night. And we're going to unwind by watching the hilariously uncomfortable movie, There's Just Something About Mary. Good night, guys. You got to take a look at this thing. Oh, Jesus. Ain't it a beaut? What the hell were you thinking?